All right, so we are uh, to continue with the series we are taking already in jam biology most repeated questions. So for those of you following online, I've done other topics, most repeated questions in other topics, so you can go and check it out. But here I'll be taking most repeated questions in competition. So there are some questions that have been repeated in competition, that topic competition, and we are going to take them together. So number one, toads and lizards in an ecosystem depend on a limited quantity of food. This is an example of dash. Toads and lizards in an ecosystem depend on a limited quantity of food. This is an example of dash. A says parasitism. A says parasitism. B says intraspecific competition. C says predation. And D says interspecific competition. So the question says toads and lizards in an ecosystem depend on a limited quantity of food. This is an example of that. So what do you think is the answer to this question? D. Why is it D? Why is, why is it interspecific competition? Now we are looking at competition between toad and lizard, right? Now, first of all, you ask yourself, we have two types of competition, right? The two types of competition we have are what and what? Intraspecific and what? Interspecific. And you know, the easiest way to remember it is interhouse spot. Interhouse spot is between different houses, right? House A, house B, uh, house red, house white, house green, but house red will always carry last. Now, inter house spot between different houses, interspecific competition between two different species, right? Two different species of organism competing for scarce resources. We call that what? Interspecific. But intraspecific within the same species competing for scarce resources. Take for example, if me and you, human beings, we have the same species, right? If we are competing for food, got it? Uh -huh. That kind of competition is what? Intraspecific. Because it's between what? The same species. But if you, not me now in this case now, if you are rats, you are competing for the same Gary in your house. That type of competition is what? Interspecific. Because rat and you, are you of the same species? No. Speak for yourself. No, no right? Uh -huh. So the competition between toad, the question says toad and lizard, are they of the same species? No, right? So the competition is inter-specific. Do we get the concept? Number two. Which of the following factors can bring about competition in a population? These questions, you see them. You see them. You see them. Please, those of you following online, any topic you miss, go back and watch it. Go back and watch them. After this video. So which of the following factors can bring about competition in a population? A says dispersion. Dispersion. B says emigration. C says drought. And D says mortality. So what's the answer to this question? Mm -hmm. eh? no. Which of the following factors can bring about competition in a population? Which one can bring about competition? Dispersion. If we have 10 persons here and they now disperse, they now move from each other, will they compete? Dispersion will lead to less uh, persons there, right? Or less organisms. So it's not lead to competition. Emigration means what? Living. You know, migration is divided into two, right? Yeah. Migration is divided into immigration and emigration. Now, 
Is it double M or one M? Double. double. Yeah, I was correct now. Immigration. Immigration coming into a particular place, right? So people coming from like now, uh, they say Nigeria is oil where. Nigeria is a very good country. That things are not hard. Everything is in good condition. Then people from different countries are trooping into Nigeria. What do you say? They are immigrating, right? But you now living in Nigeria, you say the country is hard. This and that is happening. This and that is happening. So all of you now, you now rush from Nigeria to UK. What are you doing from here? Emigrating from here. And what are you doing in UK? Immigrating. Do you understand? So if you are living, you are immigrating. If you are coming, you are doing what? Immigrating. What if you are coming and going? You are, you, are com you are confusing. You are confused. Now, dispersion will not lead to that. Emigration will not lead to that. Drought. When during the time of drought, drought is always a time of hardship. In Nigeria now, we can say we are in a period of drought. Period of hardship. Everywhere will be dry, water will be scarce. If the place is very hot, high temperature, you see plants will not even do well. So plants will not even have provide enough food for us to eat. So the little one that is surviving, disaster safe, like a flood and the rest, the little things that survive, everybody will now be fighting to get that little. Mortality means what? Death. Death, right? The more people die, the fewer persons we have. The few persons now will now be enjoying what is remaining. Do you get? But natality, if natality is better, right? If birth rate increase, one person is born in 10, 15 in Nigeria, no birth control. 10, 15. Before you know, you'll be telling people to shift, you want to pass. Because no space. All right. So the answer to that question is what? It's drought. Next question. Next question. Let, uh, let me draw this. All right. So now if you look at this. They say use the diagram below to answer question three and four. Questions three and four. Now, the question says, the type of interaction shown is referred to as dash. The type of is referred to as dash. A, interspecific competition. B, intraspecific competition. C, mutualism. D, cooperation. A, this is interspecific competition. Why? Huh? Different species. Now let me ask you the equation. If you know brawler, right? This foul brawler. Abi? If brawler and the native foul they are competing for food, what type of competition is that? Is that interspecific or intraspecific? Intra. Eh? Intra. intra or inter? Intra. Intra. But there are different species now. There are different, you know when they say species? They are different species now. Yes. So if they are different species, you would have said it's inter. Is it not? Yes. Eh? Yes. But look at this. You know this is a scientific name, right? This scientific name. And okay, first of all, I made a mistake. First of all, I made a mistake. Let me confirm this mistake, please. Kudatum. Not kuda. The P is the short form for the genus. I don't know. So it's kudatum and ore. Yeah. All right. So this stuff here, they are, you know, when you're writing scientific name, the scientific names, the, the first name is what? Is the what? The genus, right? Why the second name is what? Is the species. 
Yeah, the genus are they the same? They are the same, right? But now the species are they the same? They are not the same, is it not? They are not the same. So they have different species interacting together. I'll leave the answer in bracket because if I say anything, I'll say the answer to the next question. So I'll come back to this question, but listen to the next question that answers this, that is related to this diagram. The question says, which of the following statements is true of the interaction? Which of the following statements is true of the interaction? A. P. Aurelia is better adapted for obtaining food than P. Kudatum. B. P. Kudatum is better adapted for obtaining food than P. Aurelia. C. Both organisms cannot coexist. D. Both organisms cannot reproduce. So what's the answer to that question? Eh? A says P. Aurelia is better adapted for obtaining food than P. Kudatum. Is that true? Now check. The number of organisms. See, this one is increasing, is it not? And this one is what? Reducing. So this one is better adapted than this one. Because this one, the population is increasing. Why this one, the population is what? Decreasing. Now, since this is an interaction between two different species, you call that what? Interspecific competition. Interspecific is between different species. Next question there. The intensity of competition, listen attentively. The intensity of competition among animals in a given area will increase with dash. The intensity of competition among animals in a given area will increase with dash. A. An increase in the frequency of disease outbreaks. B. An increase in population size. C. A decrease in the immigration immigration rate. D. An increase in the emigration rate. What's the answer? B. B says what? An increase in population size, right? The more the population, the more the what? The competition. The more the population, the more the competition. Last question. The type of competition between birds of the same species is dash. Eh? Intraspecific. Remember, if it is between the same species, intraspecific. If it is between different species, is what? Inter. Always is inter house spots to remember that. All right. So we are going to look at another topic, going to another topic. So move on to watch the next topic. All right. So that's that for that one.